Hey, how is everybody doing? Welcome back to Ask That Podcast on YouTube. Got here, this is the Grindhouse Experience Presents Eye on Horror 10 Feature Film Collection. Now, what these are is Video Asia basically got a bunch of VHS, it looks like. Stuff that either is public domain or whoever owns the rights don't give a fuck. Ripped them through on DVD. And they released them in a really nice, they ripped off the, was it Erie Publications? Yeah, Erie. Skywalk actually did these stuff. The Erie Publications covers and made them into DVDs. Well, people, there was like two, one film on each side of this. People bought them. They did okay. Then they put out this set. And look at that cover. And that's a badass cover. Clockwork Orange. And we got on this. Ten Tales. Burning Tales. Oh, Hellhole. That's actually uh, like a 70s women in prison film by uh, Sierra Santiago. I think it's the guy's name. We're for Corman a lot. Jungle Virgin Force. Another kind of women's in prison film. So nothing hard yet. The Rapist. I'm wanting to say, if I remember, I've been a while since I've looked through this set. That is a, like a category two or three Hong Kong film. Devil's Express. Another Ghost Ninja. Oh, geez. This is one of those Godfrey Ho cut and paste films. You got, I can't remember the guy's name. is a ninja running around and it's a cut into a, I want to say it's a Chinese film about ghosts. Primitives, this recently just hit Blu-ray. This is about cannibals. It's a really rough print, like a VHS rip with subtitles on the bottom. A Dog Called Vengeance. I want to say this was a spaghetti western. Scorpion Thunderball. This is one of the many, many made in the Philippines kind of action war movies. Temple of Hell. I don't remember shit about a Cannibal Curse. I'm guessing has cannibals. What we got on back here? In a bizarre and deranged world of the Grindhouse Experience with exclusive horror films available for the first time. Motherfucker. There we go. For the first time on DVD, no subject taboo is such as cannibals, ninjas, mutant dogs, witches, and other ass assorted misanthropes wreak havoc on humanity. Horror films were a big part of the Grindhouse circuit as they were cheap and plentiful with a guaranteed audience. So grab a date and enjoy the most twisted entertainment this side of Route 666. 2008. I got this. I wanted to see the rest of the films in here, and it's mostly one film per side. We got a little catalog here from Video Asia. Let's see what we got here. We got Tony Jaws, Battle Warrior, Jackie Chan. I can't read the rest of the Jack, Jet Li Collection, Jackie Chan Collection, Donnie Yen Collection, Martial Arts Essentials, Sal Shaolin Masters 1 and 2. So they got the Kung Fu stuff covered. The Ultimate Bruce Lee book series is coming. Really ain't a lot to say about these. I mean, that cover's kind of neat. Uh, I have on actual disc. I know Primitives and Ghost Ninja. I want to say I got a couple more of these on other, you know, uh, the sets with the better covers. It was just, it was cheaper to buy because people collect the other ones, you know, to cost you more for the cover. The covers are great on them. The rips. Ghost Ninja didn't look bad. It looked like a decent, you know, like a VHS set. Bit open and watched a few times. Primitives, whoo! Remember back in the day, you know, you're 13, 14, and you're reading like Fango or, you know, one of the horror scenes, and you see this guy, man. I got the uncut Gates of Hell. I got, you know, uncut House by the Cemetery, uncut the Beyond off Japanese Laserdisc. Send me $20 plus shipping. I'll rip it off a Laserdisc and throw it on a tape for you. And you're like, fuck yeah. And you found out the motherfucker was lying. He had like a Venezuelan VHS of it he ripped. And it's got like, you know, Venezuelan subtitles about it. That's what primitive subtitles like. That's what a lot of these look like. And there's fun stuff on it. It's definitely, I mean, if you're into sleazy, grindhousey kind of stuff, horror, not a lot of this was hard, to be honest. It was worth, I mean, look around on Amazon. Uh, I don't think I paid more than seven bucks for this thing. And back in the day, those sets I was talking about earlier with uh, just two films on, those were like eight bucks a pop. But back then, you're like, oh man, eight, eight dollars to get two movies? Really? Fuck. You know, the cheapest back then, the cheapest stuff was the $5 bin at Target and Walmart. You're like, oh man, $5 for a movie? Fuck, that's a good price. Because people forget, we were used to VHS prices where, you know, hell, when VHS, I remember the first VHS tape I got was, shit, it was public domain horror film, I'm trying to remember which one it was now. It wasn't Night, it wasn't Night of Living Dead, it wasn't House on Haunted Hill, it was one of the others. Like, I saw it at the local KMB Drugs and I had to have it. And they wanted like $25. And every other tape you find anywhere is like 40 and 50 Oh man, 25 bucks. That's a deal. I watch as many times as I want to. And I saved up my allowance for quite a while. My allowance was not real high. I mean, 
if I'm remembering right, until I started, you know, until I hit like junior high, my allowance was about three bucks a week. Yeah. So twenty five dollars took me a little while to save. I saved up, bought it. You know, it looked like ass. That's why, well, you know, and you you thought, okay, well, you know, it was twenty five bucks. Well, it looks like ass. You know, good should cost you fifty. It's just the price drop happened so quick with VA, uh, with DVD. I mean, VHS you had a price drop happen, but that was towards the end there when DVD had already come in because DVD hit the states at what ninety eight, if I remember right. Probably late ninety seven, but I think most people it was ninety eight, ninety nine, two thousand. When a good chunk of people started getting players. Whenever that PlayStation 2 came out, that was the big impetus of people going, oh, i got to have DVDs now. I had a player in 98. I got, I got one for Christmas that year. Oh, Chris, well, it was supposed to be Christmas in 97, if I remember right, and it just didn't come in in time because I imported the player. Even back then, I knew to get region free, which, sadly, I don't have anymore. My region free DVD player, DVD player died. My region free Blu-ray player died, and I needed players quick, and I feel like waiting, so I replaced Yes, I have a DVD and a Blu-ray player. There's reasons. There are certain files I have on Drive that just won't play on that Blu-ray player, and I want to watch them on TV once I got the DVD. It ain't hooked up. But, you know, I imported it. Came in. I got quite a few discs. I remember some of that, you know, some of that early stuff, like, who else remembers the top 10 media releases? All the stuff like, you know, Hellraiser and it's full frame, no extras, and it looks like ass. You know, Hell Comes to Frog Town and all that. And there's people out there now looking for that stuff. Well, it's like blows my mind. The old Brentwood. You remember, these remind me of the old Brentwood release. You know, 10 films for, it was like 20 bucks. And you got 10 films for 2 bucks a film. And it was laser disc ripped. That's how I saw shit. Like, I'd heard of Last House on the, uh, Last House, House on the Edge of the Park many times. Never seen it. Got him like, holy fuck, this is amazing. Or like, Devil's Nightmare. I never even heard of Devil's Nightmare. God is like, this is fucking great, you know? Shit like that. And that's what these are kind of, you use these to try try before you buy, you know? Well, you're still buying. But you're getting it cheap. Because I know Primitives is out on Blu-ray. I don't know about any of this other stuff. Look at that cover. There's all kinds of craziness on it. And they did like a, like a, Action film set called Mercenaries. They, they, there's quite a few of these. There's another one just called The Grindhouse Experience. There's one and two. I have that. That's got like some women in prison and one of the Carry On films. It's got a Jean Roland film on there and all that stuff. Yeah, a lot of stuff like that. Well, that's it for me this time. I'm sorry, a little shorter than normal, but I'm trying to go a little shorter. Hope everybody enjoyed. Remember, if you did, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, all the other bullshit. Talk to everybody later. Bye bye.